So you say, cruise man, what's the problem? What are you upset about? Good morning, YouTube. It's 7.34 in the morning. This is Cruise Man. Welcome back to the Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. Motor vlogs, DIY tips, hacks, tricks, and those accessory installation and review videos. If you love the Honda Goldwing or motorcycling in general, or if you just like watching someone who does, you're in the right place. I'd appreciate it if you click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Now I am on Highway 82 West heading toward Texarkana. I got Ricky on the back with me. And I thought today would be a perfect time to kind of give you a quick review of Wingding 41 and our overall ride experience. So I'm just going to run through some things real quick and tell you, let's first talk about Wingding 41. First of all, I think having it in Nashville was a good idea. I think that's a good city. I prefer Knoxville because I like to ride the tail of the dragon and I think it's better riding around Knoxville. I am not a big, G I'm not a GWRA member. I'll tell you that right up front. So we bought a day pass because we we're only going to be there one day because we have a family situation and we had to get back to Texas. Now, a day pass is $22 for a non-member, $15 for a member. Now, if all you want to do is go to Wingding so you can go to the trade show, which I assume many people do, they, the big thing is, the big draw is the trade show with all the vendors. To have to pay $22 admission fee just so you can go in and spend money someplace seems a bit rich. I think there should be a separate ticket for those that just want to go to the trade show. You could get into the trade show for somewhere between $7 and maybe $10, but that's just me. Uh, I think the vendors would appreciate that as well. So, I go to these things to meet my customers and to meet people that, you know, my YouTube uh, subscribers and followers, which we did. I'm not big on going to dinners and dances and hay rides. I could care less about all that stuff. If I go somewhere like that, it's because I want to ride the bike. I want the ride. That's why I like Knoxville. Now, since we're talking about the ride, let's talk about the ride to and from Wingding 41. This 2018 Goldwing DCT has performed flawlessly with Ricky on the back and pulling the Bush Tech trailer. No problems. I'm guessing we probably have around 100 to 125 pounds worth of gear in the trailer. And plus the ice chest and everything. So, I, you know, it, it, you don't even know it's back there. So, no problems. The bike, just smooth as silk. You have to run in tour mode. You really can't use rain mode or econ mode because there's just not enough power to pull the trailer. Uh, we've had to use hill start assist several times. It works flawlessly, even with the trailer. So, no complaints, no problems with the motorcycle. We've been both been wearing our Bond armor underneath our riding gear. And I'm wearing the pants and the top, Bond armor. Both of us have the cool mesh top. I have the pants too, that have the uh, soft armor in them. And, you know, this is something, if, you don't, if you've never used a Bond Armor, you really should check it out because you can wear it underneath your jeans or uh, your riding gear or whatever. It's much more comfortable and, and just, I think, better overall protection. And if you watch my review video of Bond Armor, and I'll put a link in the description, if you watch my review video, I think there's a discount code that you can use if you're a Cruise Man's Garage follower. 
and you'll save about 10% on your order. That's pretty cool. The only real failure we've had, my GoPros have worked fine, both my Hero 4 and my Hero 7. No problem there. So you say, Cruise Man, what's the problem? What are you upset about? Well, the biggest failure of this whole trip has been this Cardo Pack Talk Bowl Bluetooth headset. Now, maybe it's because I've got it programmed incorrectly. Very possible. But it shouldn't be that hard to program. So let me give you a quick overview of what the experience has been. The first day and a half, I had no music coming from the motorcycle. Let me tell you how I have the Cardo set up. My Bluetooth headset is programmed, channel A is the motorcycle, is the Goldwing. So I can get audio from the bike. Channel B is programmed to the Zumo Garmin GPS. So I can get audio instructions that will interrupt the music on the bike. And I also have DMC, which is the intercom mode, paired with Ricky's headset. So the first day, she and I could communicate over the intercom. She could hear, I have her headset paired to the motorcycle on channel A also. She could hear channel A, she could hear the music from the Goldwing. But I was getting no music from the Goldwing. All I got was the GPS instructions and the intercom. So I couldn't hear any music for the first day and a half. Then on the second day, about halfway through the day, I thought, let me try something. I looked, I pulled up the GPS Bluetooth settings for the Cardo Pack Talk Bolt. And I saw a little checkbox for media audio. And of course, I'm not, I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it means that I want to listen to MP3 files from the Zumo and have it come through my headset, which I don't use this for MP3 files. So I unchecked that checkbox. And when I did, miraculously, the music started coming through the headset from the motorcycle. So I solved the problem. Music coming through channel A, Garmin coming through channel B for the instructions, and I had intercom with Ricky. Everything worked perfectly. And that lasted for a day and a half. When we left Nashville two days ago, exact same setup, no changes, unchecked that checkbox. Once again, no music. I had the intercom, Ricky had music. I had the intercom, I had the GPS instructions, but no sound coming from the Goldwing. That's where I am. I got up this morning, I hooked the, the pack top, my headset up to my computer, went to Cardo's website to see if there's any settings I could change. Is there something that I'm not doing right? Well, their website, little configurator, doesn't really give you much. There's not much you can do with it. So I thought, well, this is kind of a waste of time. So I just unplugged it, came out to the bike, hooked there, got, we, got, we left this morning. Now, guess what? I've got music. I didn't do anything. I didn't change any settings. However, now I don't have intercom. My DMC is not working. So now I can hear the Goldwing. I can hear the Zumo, but no Ricky. So it has been a real frustrating uh, week as far as the audio goes. And honestly, uh, my overall opinion is Bluetooth is not ready for prime time. It just didn't. This and everybody that came up to me at Wingding, almost every single person that came up wanted to talk. They wanted to ask me about Bluetooth and headsets. Nobody is able to get this stuff to work correctly. It's inconsistent, it's finicky, it's way too hard to configure way too hard to set up uh, especially for the novice and it just it's just not ready for prime time I'm sorry my only resolution that I can think of that I can do is I'm going to take my bike over to
Ricardo. I just happened, fortunately, I'm just lucky that I live about 15 miles from Cardo's national office, from their sales office. So I'm gonna take my headsets, my two helmets, and my bike over to them and let them see if they can get this thing to work the way it should work. Because I should be able to listen to the Goldwing, listen to the Zumo, and have an intercom going with Ricky, or as many riders as I want. And I'll let, and we proved it does work. It did work for a day and a half. It did perfectly. I have no idea what I did. I thought all I did was uncheck that one checkbox. That's the only difference. That's the only change I made. But now it doesn't work. So we'll see. I'll report back to you and let you know what my findings are once I go to Cardo and deal with that. Other than that, it's been really six or seven days of just beautiful riding. I mean, uh, on the way home, on the way to Nashville, we had a lot of rain and clouds, but it was really cool. It kept us cool and we had no problems with heat. Um, but on the way back, uh, we've had no rain and no clouds, but man, have we had some heat in the afternoons. So we've been leaving a little earlier in the morning. We hope to get into Dallas before one o'clock today. And so we are blasting down the highway on 82 West right now, heading to Texarkana, and then we'll be on to Dallas. And I have really enjoyed all of your comments and appreciate you following along with us on our Nashville 41 road trip. Now, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and tell your friends about Cruise Man's Garage channel. So thanks again for joining us today and all week long, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.